Hello and welcome to this video about the fall of the Berlin Wall from a German perspective. One big example how history still impacts us today even though it took place 30 years ago. In 1989, Günter Schabowski said accidentally in an interview at the press conference that people from the East can go legally to the west side of Germany. A triumph because Germany got united and freedom for the East. But the tragedy to try to put two totally different cultures and systems together. In one night, the communist East united with the democratic West. So first the question, why did they build the wall? Then how did the politics in the East play? After that we would talk about the night of the fall and then about the reactions of the people. At the end I will talk about the differences between East and West Germany today. Let us start in the beginning. Basically it starts after the Second World War with the four winner powers. The US, England and France were on one side and said they wanted to have one united Germany. In the beginning they wanted to still control Germany but give them after time their control back to make sure they won't start a third world war. In short, a Germany with conditions. But old Russia, its last power, had another plan and made their part of Germany to a communism state. Berlin as Kapita got divided up into four parts, each part for one of the four winner powers, as a sign that no power is more powerful. It started to create an East-West conflict. Since 1952, the Soviets tried to stop people from the East to go to the West. It affects that 1961, they started to build the 155 km long border between East and West Germany. People from the West still could go to the East, but the East didn't can go to the West. Everywhere, automatic firing device and soldiers, so that nobody can cross the wall. Germans also called it the Death Tribe. People got forcibly relocated and tried to build a tunnel under the wall, just to get out of the East. It was the most dangerous border in world history. There were many conflicts about the years. One of the earliest famous ones is at the Checkpoint Charlie in October 1961. It is on the border around Berlin. Soviets tried to limit the rights of the West powers. The US drove with the tanks to the Checkpoint Charlie to protest. On the other side the tanks from the East. One tank from the US came with a lot of speed and almost went over the line. It was a moment of strain. If just one soldier would have lost their patience, the next war could have started. Then the start of the turn 1989. The East got modernized by Michael Gorbachev. It started protests in the big cities, first in Leipzig and in Berlin, and then also in the little cities. People feared that they provocate the East government too much, but it was a peaceful rebellion. Then the biggest demonstration on the Alexanderplatz in Berlin on the 1st of September 1989. Also many famous people were present. Many people flew about Hungary and Czechoslovakia to Austria to come to West Germany. The Soviet government is under constant pressure. The government began to think about a travel law rejection. On the 11th September 1989, Hungary allows people official to go from East Germany to Austria. The government of the East and the West got together to discuss and create the new travel law. On the evening of the 9th of November 1989, Günter Schabowski wanted to introduce the new travel law for East Germany. The press conference was first really unexcited, but then he talked about the refuge question. An Italian journalist asked Schabowski when the law gets enforced, and he looked down and was not sure, so he said it would be from now on. The law was originally for the 10th of October 1990. This message made the news in seconds all over Germany. It was in the top news. Thousands of people went outside and celebrated the miracle of Berlin. Because it was accident, the soldiers on the border did not know what to do, but they did not shoot. 
because so many people went to the border, the chaos started. The local authorities were overwhelmed. The people started to lose their patience and started to get loud. After a while, there were so many people that they just opened the doors. People were happy and screamed freedom. The people wanted to go to the west, even if it's just to go to McDonald's or see how it looks like on the other side of the border. Many people also feared it would be just for time and packed everything together to go to the west. It was a peaceful revolution. Then people just started to go on the wall to celebrate the fall. Others just realized that this night we're going to the German history. It was the end of the communism. Sometimes friends met fortunately on the border. The next few days, people from all over East Germany went to the West. It was totally chaos. The people from the East were supposed to get a visa, but it made no sense, because everybody got it in seconds, and the East lost their power. This effect huge lights. There were so many troubles, so that the car produced by Volkswagen got to a sign from the reunion. 1988 in 1989, West Germany spent a total of 520 million d just because everybody who comes to West Germany from the East got money from the government. West Germany also paid for the freedom of the East. 2017, they paid 3.5 million euros to the East countries. The wall got pulled down. Pieces of the wall or restructions of them are all over Germany so will never be forgotten. They are signs for peace. Germany was united, but there are still many differences between East and West Germany. For example, the income. The income is on the West side higher than on the East side. This is mainly because many companies went bankrupt. The East is still 30% behind the Western economics. Also, the employment rate is on the East side higher than on the West side. Leaders are also more likely to be from the West. One reason would be that many young people went to the West. That also affects the demographics. A big problem is that Germany does not have enough young people so that they have to get people from other countries to work. Almost everybody from the East has a child care. You can see here definitely the line between East and West Germany. Time of the communist politics, the agriculture fields were much larger in the East of Germany. They were owned by farmers and not by individuals. Even that that changed, you still can see that today. There are more foreigners on the west side than on the east side. One reason for that is because many guest workers never left. The NPD is a right-wing National Democratic Party whose members have been often accused of glorifying Adolf Hitler. They're still a party but they're really unsuccessful at the pools. This difference is huge because you can see it even in the votes 2016. Just the rate of the flu vaccinations is different. In Eastern Germany it is more common than in the West. The habits and the beliefs are still different. For example my mother can tell me after just a short conversation with somebody if the person is from the East or West. Even the street lights in Berlin are different. First Germany got separated. To make the people stay in the east, they built the wall. The systems and cultures separated more and more. The economics are very well in the west, but did not work in the east. Because the west looked pretty good, people from the east wanted more and more to come to the west. Then they found a way to flew from the east, and the politics got more and more under pressure. And the government created a traveler that ended as reunion of Germany. First, the people and the culture changed a lot. But the people in the East did never lived in a system like in the West before. It is one united Germany, a huge triumph, but the habits and beliefs are different. It is official, one united Germany. Academics says there will be differences for many, many more years. We should never forget the past. People from old East Germany will never forget the night of their freedom. Thank you for watching this video.